It wasn't very often that I seen you smile. I wondered if you blamed you for the death of your child. He fires off a warning shot. Warn me twice. Turn the plane around and land it. See, he spared your life. See, self medication. Michael did say. See, two icons dead. No one else to blame. God bless you, friend. God bless this James. Some of you fans never thought to be ashamed. Who knew he was popping pills? You knew he was in pain. Why you didn't seek him help you let him lay down and die? You see this purple tattoo on the side of my eyes. A message from Carver County Sheriff's Office tip line. Hey Chris, it's Nikki. Um, here's another tip from the tip line. I did take what I could off of this to complete it, but I thought you should also hear it. Um, but I'll complete the sheet for the tip. Yes, um, I'm calling because um, I read a post underneath a TMZ article um, the other night about Prince. I know you're investigating um, the death of Prince Rogers Nelson. Um, whether this is legitimate or not, I would I would like to, um, I guess, read this post to you. Otherwise, I can send a link. It was written by someone named Ronald Arden, A-R-D-E-N. And um, the post is, my wife is a pharmacy technician at the Walgreens close to Paisley Park. She said Prince was getting two narcotic prescriptions, one for 90 Percocet for 30 days, another for Lorotab, again 90 for 30 days. He also had prescriptions for Ambien 30 for 30 days and Xanax 60 for 90 days. She also says he had members of his entourage that came into the pharmacy and they also got Percocet and Lorotab in their names as well, at least two of them. That equals out to 270 Percocets, 270 Laura Tabs, 30 Ambion, and 60 Xanax per month for Prince, provided his entourage members were giving him their scripts. And another thing, they were all written by the same doctor. The pharmacy had to fill the scripts because they were valid scripts written by a licensed doctor. Prince wasn't getting scripts filled anywhere else because it would have shown up on his FDA profile. But over 600 powerful pills each month is a recipe for an overdose. Those who were supposed to be looking out for him helped kill him. Again, I'm not sure if anyone with the last name Arden is a pharmacy tech at that Walgreens, but um, if so, this person foolishly put all this information out online. Um, thank you, and good luck with your investigation. Bye-bye.